I just wanted to do a super quick, simple FAQ about the second edition of the World Atlas of Coffee that is out in a few days' time. The launch date is the 4th of October, that's Thursday. It is available from all good bookshops. Now, on the internet, I announced this uh, a little while ago and a few of you had some questions for me. So I wanted to answer your questions. So I'm gonna answer a few quick things. What's new? What's changed? Do I need to buy this if I've got the first edition? And should I pre-order it? So let's dive in to what's new. Now, there's not a ton added to it. Now, there are six new producing countries added to this particular edition. They are the Democratic Republic of Congo, Uganda, Thailand, China, Haiti, and the Philippines. Now, a broad range there, but definitely countries I wanted to make sure were included in this edition. Alongside this, there's one more chapter towards the start of the book that is a short history of coffee drinking. As for what's changed between the first edition and the second edition, uh, the statistics on population and production for every country have been updated just to the, the latest numbers that I could get hold of. In a couple of cases, small errors have been removed in uh, histories of a couple of countries, but they're pretty small changes. We've updated the typeface throughout the book, and in a few cases we've updated some maps where we've added kind of county lines where the counties themselves are used to describe or define certain regions. So some small updates to maps throughout the book, and, and they're a little bit more uh, standardized throughout the book as well. If I own the first edition, do I need to buy this second edition? Well, I would say no, not particularly. Most of the information that's in that first edition is pretty much identical to what's in the second edition. It's a little bit like when they release an iPhone on, on the kind of S year, where you get a little bump in specs, but it pretty much is the same. Uh, if you're a completist, sure, absolutely. If you have a particular interest in a new country that is, a, a, that is added to the book, then it may be a worthwhile inclusion for you. If, if, you, if you have the first and you're worried about missing out, really, I, I wouldn't be, you know? Like, like, I'm very proud of that first edition of the information in there. I hope it continues to be very useful. The world of coffee does change and evolve, but most of that information is, is really pretty fixed and permanent and wouldn't change in a third or fourth or fifth edition. So unless you're a completist, uh, uh, unless you have a particular interest in one of the new countries, then I would say don't worry if you've got the first edition, don't feel compelled to buy the second edition. I won't pretend I wouldn't appreciate it, but you really don't need it. Right? So, so don't worry about buyer's remorse. It is just important to me and the publisher that we do keep stuff up to date. Should I pre-order? Well, I'll be truly honest. Pre-orders are really, really, really helpful. The first week of a book sales are its best week ever, typically. And so if you ever stand a chance of getting onto bestseller lists or that kind of stuff, pre-orders are how you get there. If you want uh, to pre-order um, a copy from Square Mile, they'll be up relatively soon, but they don't actually count towards those kind of lists. If you want the book at the best possible price, Amazon is gonna be the best place to do it and certainly pre-ordering there is incredibly helpful towards the success of the book. That definitely counts and definitely drives a kind of bit of momentum behind the book. However, if you don't wanna pre-order, if you wanna wait till it comes out, that's totally okay. If you wanna come down and see me on launch day, I'll be at Proof Rock all day doing some fun stuff. There'll be a couple of workshops, there's still some spaces for, I think. Uh, but just come down and have coffee. That's all you need to do for it to be fun and interactive and um, get a glimpse into what I kind of hoped people would get out of the Atlas. That'll make more sense. I'll, I'll, I'll make a video of what happens that day. But um, if you have any other questions, I'll be delighted to answer them. The, the, the comments below are open. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.